Rina Sabalenka versus Chin Wen Jung is the final of the Australian Open for the ladies for 2024. And both were very impressive to get to this stage. Jung entered the tournament as the number 12 seed and would take on Kruger in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-2, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on Bolter. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, she'd take on fellow Chinese woman Wong. And this was an epic, with Jung having to fight to the tiebreak in the third eventually winning in three, six, three, two, six, seven, six. In the fourth round, she'd take on Dodden. This is no problem for Zhang, winning in less than an hour, six love, six, three, to make it to another quarterfinal of a slam. In the quarterfinals, Zhang would take on the unseated Kalen Skyer. And after dropping the first set, Zhang would fight back to win, six, seven, six, three, six, one, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Zhang would take on the qualifier Yastremska. And after a close couple of sets, Zhang would advance to the final, 6464 six, four, to make it to that final. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Seidel in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. Six love, six one. In the second round, she'd take on Brenda Fruvitova. There's no problem for Sabalenka again winning in straights. Six three, six two. In the third round, she'd take on the 28 seed Sharenko. And Sabalenka destroyed her, winning six love, six love, handing out the double bagel. In the fourth round, she'd take on Anissa Mova. But again, Sabalenka looked too good. Getting through in straights, six three, six two to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Krajikova, the ninth seed. And having won their previous three matches, it was the same again for Sabalenka, getting an easy win, 6-2, 6-3, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the number four seed, Goff, a player she hadn't played since the final of the US Open last year in which she lost. And after a close first set, Sabalenka would get her revenge in straights. 7664 to advance to another Australian Open final. These two have only played the one time before, and that was actually at the US Open last year, with Sabalenka getting the easy win. But Zhang has come a long way and also knows how Sabalenka plays, so she'll be able to adjust and play a different style of game this time around. If Zhang's gonna win this one, she needs to serve well and move Sabalenka around. Also, go for the shots down the line, keep Sabalenka off balance. That's something that Goff couldn't quite do. She did double fold a lot, Goff, in her match, so definitely needs to serve well Zhang as a start to compete with Sabalenka. If Sabalenka's gonna win this one, she needs to get off to a good start and hold the lead. She got off to a good start against Goff, and then she gave back the lead at 5-2 in the first, and then eventually got it done in the tiebreak. She hasn't lost a set yet this week, Sabalenka, so that's also something that mentally could be interesting if she does go down a set, but she needs to get off to a good start and keep the lead this time around. What a fun final. We thought for a while there that Sabalenka was just going to play some random person, but it's great to see Zhang in the final. She deserves to be there. She'll be in the top 10 after this week, no matter what. But I've got to go with Sabalenka in this one. I think Sabalenka on experience will win this one. In a close straight set, I give Zhang a chance to maybe push it to a tie break, but... Sabalenka too powerful. She wins Australian Open for the second year in a row, but let me know down in the comments below who have you got to win the trophy.